Hi Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are a Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or however Scorpio may show up on your astrological natal chart, then these messages are for you. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lexa Tarot and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. And for those of you who are interested in learning more about me, my client testimonials, my credentials, then take a look down below in the description box and click on that credentials link. For those of you who are my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike, I want to thank each and every one of you for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. As you know, these are all free channeled messages, and the only thing I ask in return is if you could please give me a thumbs up, like, share, or subscribe so that I know that you are enjoying these free channeled messages. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so whenever I post new content or whenever I go live on my live stream, you are the first to know. So, uh, Scorpio, we're going to take a look here. I'm not going to look, you know, but I am going to pull some uh, a charm out here for you. We're going to add additional blessings or messages here for you for the month of March. And we have here, ooh, Dragonfly. Dragonfly came out here for you. Let me bring this a little closer here. Dragonfly, so there's a sense here of change and transformation, illumination, clarity here for the month of March here for you, okay? Um, Scorpio, we're taking a look here at what potential blessings may be coming in your direction. What energies are you attracting here in the month of March? And you have the dragonfly here as a symbol coming in as a blessing. And dragonflies are about epiphanies. You know, there's a sense of uh, illumination or clarity that may be coming in for you in the month of March. Now, I'm not surprised because Aries season is the start of the new astrological, uh, of the, the new year in the astrological world, right? So, you know, the signs start with Aries and end with Pisces. So right now, at this moment in time, we are in Pisces season. The Pisces season is going to end, which is the last zodiac sign, right? So we're going to end the, the whole year cycle with Pisces. And a new cycle is starting here on March 19th because this year was a leap year. So there could be here during this month of March here, uh, closing out some chapters here you know, with this Pisces season and really opening up new, uh, either new chapters or new sense of awareness. There's the, the dragonfly is all about epiphanies is about seeing something from a different sense or a different point of view. It's like it didn't occur to you before, but somehow you have grown or you will see, or it will become more apparent, whether it's your higher self, whether it's your intuition, whether, um, you know, whether it's like in hindsight 2020, where something is going to be more obvious or more apparent to you here in the month of March. As I said, dragonflies are all about epiphanies. Now, even though that that's a dragonfly here, it's coming across as a sense of renewal. Okay, it's coming up as a sense of renewal, of rebirth, of rebirth, kind of very similar to the judgment card in tarot. Okay, so judgment card in tarot is is ruled by Pluto. So there's a sense of kind of like evolution or reevaluating something. So there could be here a sense of evolution, of growth, or of an epiphany here in the month of March here for you, especially with Aries starting with the Aries season here mid March. Okay. All right, so let's take a look here at what else is coming in your direction here. And you have High Priestess, so guess what? Your intuition is going to be amplified, and you have here transformation. I mean, talk about uh, sign symbol synchronicities. This is validation confirmation of what I just said. This is just saying the same thing all over again, but giving you tangible proof of what I was just channeling here a little while ago. High Priestess, I talked about the sense of illumination. Guess what? You have illumination here right behind that person's head. There's a really big yellow disc that has a lot to do with the crown chakra, but also is coming across also as the solar plex chakra as well, gut level feet. 
feeling, okay? So your gut level feeling is going to be very much amplified here in the month of March. I'm also getting here a, clarif a clar uh, clarity here. I was going to say clarification for some reason. For some of you, it might be here a time for clarification because you do have here the throat chakra here with that blue dot. And that blue dot is all about being able to clear the throat chakra. So saying something, getting something out in the open, or listening truly to your uh to your uh to your intuition because the throat chakra is not just about communication with the you know with just words or talking or speaking it's also communication having to do with the ear so being able to listen to okay so because communication is a two-way street right listening and speaking so those two skills here this is what this is talking about it says you have divine knowledge that can help others through your personal or i'm sorry through your spiritual teachings okay so there is a sense here that your higher self or your intuition is going to be amplified here or there's a sense of illumination and clarity that may be coming in here in the month of march that you may not have been aware of so something is going to be this kind of aha moment for you in the month of march okay you also have here transformation it says you are experiencing enormous change right now which brings great blessings and again you have here what looks like uh butterflies now difference between the butterfly and the dragonfly is this the dragonfly is more about the epiphany it's more about you learning something uh kind of like in hindsight 2020 kind of coming into the sense of awareness of oh oh i see now i get it like the judgment card in tarot here okay so there's a sense here of like a you know a higher level of understanding here that you didn't see before in your past or recent past and the reason why I'm saying your past or recent past is because this person is looking towards my left hand side and my left hand side is the time frame of the past. So there is something here about your past or recent past that is now you're becoming more aware of something, whether it's aware of maybe I should have, could have, would have done this or aware of, you know what, this is that, however, whichever way it may come out for you. But this is what this is talking about. Transformation. Uh, butterfly, like I was saying here before I got sidetracked here, difference between the butterfly and the and, and the uh, dragonfly is the dragonfly is more about the epiphany of something. And the butterfly is more about the cycles. So ending a new cycle, beginning a new cycle. It says here you are experiencing enormous change right now. So that means, bingo, bango, that means you may have had either a tower moment in your past or recent past, or you may have recently encountered a tower moment or there may be an unexpected tower moment coming in for you in the month of march uh there are two cards here but it will start with the tower tower moment is an unexpected situation situation circumstance or event something that you did not expect or something that you're not expecting that may shake things up a little bit for you here in the month of march now the shake up is a positive thing why? Because through that shakeup or through that tower moment, whether it's a tower moment that you experienced in the past or recent past, whether it's a tower moment that you may be experiencing here in the month of March, or whether you are kind of like in the midst of cleaning things up from this tower moment in the month of March, this is all about you having a moment of transformation, having a moment of epiphany, seeing something or seeing the situation, circumstance, event, person, object, or time frame in a different way right now at this moment in time in the month of March, where your intuition is telling you something and now you are more open to listen to your intuition about this certain thing uh you know about this certain uh tower moment here okay now the tower moment is or the tower card in tarot let me bring that up a little bit closer here for you this tower okay sorry about that let me bring it down a little bit more there you go this tower moment is mars energy okay so mars rules this card what is mars well mars is fire 
passion, ambition, but also remember fire can be helpful, but fire can destroy. So it all depends how this energy is going to move. And guess what? Talking about fire and you have the two of wands. So there's a sense here of you in the month of March kind of coming to terms with you figuring out what you need to embrace change in. So what is it that you are needing to change or embracing the change uh, in regards to two paths? Two of Wands is two different paths. Two, there could be the old and the new, or it could be just two different options here. But there's a sense of you figuring out what is it that you're going to finally put to rest and burn, and what are you finally going to restart because perhaps something here in this shakeup has made you do an about face on something and think about it in a different way because now you're more open to your intuition now you're more open to listening to your higher self to listening to your gut level feeling and especially here with this um, dragonfly. It is now a different time here for you. Okay. So there's the sense of an awareness and a sense of clarity, a sense of your intuition helping you here and guiding you here through the month of March in the sense of enormous change and transformation, but also enormous, uh, epiphany here in regards to two choices, two options, or the old or a new path. Uh, again, the tower here having that Mars energy and Mars energy here being one of change, of action, of trying to create a clean slate, of something being revealed here that is now going, going to make sense here in the month of March. Now, let's take a look here at what else is coming through for you here, Scorpio, as a blessing. So listen, changes, epiphany. The fact that you have epiphany here is a good thing. The fact that you have here transformation, it's another amazing thing. So yes, there is going to be here, or there could be, there could have been here a tower moment, but there's this sense of you coming into a sense of awareness, but your intuition guiding you to it, not your mind, not your head, not a logical, analytical mindset, but rather your intuitive uh, my, your intuitive energy, your intuitive, um, energy pulling you in the direction for you to become aware of something here connected to your past or recent past. Let's take a look at what else is coming in for you as a blessing here in the month of March. And then we're going to wrap up this reading you have here. Look at this forgiveness. You have here forgiveness. There's a sense here of either you asking for an apology or accepting an apology. I said this before. There's a sense of a clean slate happening here with this tower moment, but there's a sense of you figuring something that you either didn't see before or something illuminating here. You know, kind of like it's coming across like once the emotions have kind of, uh, uh, decreased or the sense of the anger has decreased or the sense of being so fired up or the sense of impulsivity has subsided. There's a sense here of a kind of like now that the dust has settled, now I can think clearly. Now I can see what I didn't see before in the past or recent past. Now I understand why I should have or where I could have or how I could have, you know, managed the situation a little bit better or how I could have navigated something in a little bit more of a, a of a clearer road or seeing something clearer, right? Because that's what all these three, three, uh, you know, things uh, here are all about. You have forgiveness and you have justice. You also have indecision here. Yeah, there could be something weighing on your shoulders or weighing in your mind here. 
um, Scorpio. And there's this sense of you putting that to rest um, in this month of, Mar of March here. There's a sense of some type of confusion here. I feel it has a lot to do with this Tower moment and a lot having to do with this Two of, uh, of Wands here. There's a sense of you kind of like... I have two options here and you know what sh what should I which one should I move forward with okay and the fact that there is this sense of forgiveness and justice here there's a sense of you having to balance out what may be or what may have been out of balance due to the fact that the de the dust didn't settle until maybe recently or maybe now in the month of March finally the dust the dust is going is going to settle and you're going to be more of an kind of like more in a mindset here or an emotional mind an emotional kind of energy of kind of saying to yourself you know what I need to really kind of think about how I'm going to balance myself off how am I going to balance the you know the part perhaps the anger perhaps the lack of being able to apologize or accepting an apology, the lack of having bygones be bygones. How am I going to deal with this situation here from the past or recent past or something that may come up here in the month of March? And you finally saying to yourself, well, you know what? I'm going to have to make a decision, but in order for me to do so, I'm going to rely on my higher self. I'm going to rely on my intuition. And you know what? I might have to look back in the past and I might have to make some changes there because there has been here a sense of epiphany where I am now starting to understand something as a whole. Okay. Not in a, not from little parts, but as a whole where Again, whatever may have been unfair may recalibrate to a sense of justice. Something that may not have been the best may recalibrate itself here in the month of March, and there will be an epiphany here attached with it. Scorpio, I hope these messages have been insightful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, share, or subscribe, and I'll see you soon.